Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. As you all know, on this channel we cover different type of interview question asked in various placement and job interviews. So subscribe to our channel if you want to prepare for up your upcoming interviews. Today's question is a very interesting question, and the question is to calculate the thickness of the coin so that the probability of landing of the coin is equal to the head tail on when falling on its edge. As you can see, a normal coin here the probability of head is equal to the probability of tail, and that is one by two. But now here you see there is a thickness of the coin. It can land on its edges as as well, right? And it seems like the probability of landing on its edge would increase as we increase the thickness of the coin. This is the intuition. You you might be following this intuition. So what would be the thickness if it has equal probability of landing on to head, tail, or on its edges? So this is the question. As usual, I am giving you five seconds to think about this question and have some initial approach ready. And we'll meet after five seconds. I hope you have an approach ready to tackle this question. So let's see how we can go about this. So here we have inscribed the coin in the sphere in such a way that it is touching the inner surface and symmetrically distributed upper and the lower part. And the capital R is the radius of the sphere. This capital R is the radius of the sphere, and the small r, the small r is the radius of the coin, and h is the thickness of the coin, or you can say height of the coin. A is the upper surface area of the sphere. This part, upper surface or area of this sphere, B is the lower surface area of this sphere, and C is the side surface area, side surface area of this sphere, right? You need to analyze this. This is not the same as the curved surface area of the coin. So please take a note. This is not equal to the curved surface area of the coin. This is the curved surface area of the sphere of this part, right? So here, what we do, taking the probability via area. So if we want it to have equal probability, the area of the A part should be equal to the C equal should be equal to the B. So the area of the upper sphere, the lower sphere, and the curved sphere should be equal, right? So area of sphere is four pi r square, right? Here's the capital R. So area of C should be one third of area of the sphere, right? Because all the three have equal areas. And area of C equal to two pi capital R H. 2 pi capital R H. This is the curved surface area, and we have equal to the 4 by 3 into pi r square because it is one third of the area of sphere. Here you will get a relation between capital R and H. But now we have to take the relation between small r and H because we want it to have thickness of the coin in terms of the radius. So we will apply the Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem. What it will say is r square capital R square. This is the capital R square will be equal to the small r square. Plus h by two height by two ka whole square. Now here we will get the relation between the r and h itself. The final thing will be come out to be the height should be point three five or thirty five percent of the diameter of the coin, and it will have the equal probability of head tail and falling on its edge. I hope you have learned something new from this video. Please subscribe to our channel for more such interview question and quant related questions. Till then, keep learning and keep watching.